Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to the version of Old Ridge Farm. Alright, so I thought I'd record a second episode. I haven't released the first yet, so I don't know if you want to see more of this or not. Uh, but I just kind of felt like playing on this map today, so I'm just going to record another episode. Uh, like I said in the previous episode, let me know if you want me to play, want me to continue to play on this map or not. Uh, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do before I release one, but uh, for now, this will be... I don't know, one, two series, we'll see. Like I said, leave me a comment below, and uh, if you want me to play in this series, continue to play in this series, I shall, and if you don't want me to continue to play in this series, then say, don't. <laughs> All right, so what do we got going on today? Uh, we have to plant some fields. We have, uh, let's just get it over here. Uh, we have some fields that we need to plant. We have three, eight, and nine. Uh, that we need to use for plant. Uh, so let's go ahead. We don't actually have a cedar anymore, or do we? I can't remember. Did I sell it? Uh, it looks like we did sell the cedar. Okay, good. So what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and rent a cedar, and I'm going to rent uh, this guy right here. And let's rent this for... Ooh, that's per hour, so we probably could do four hours. Yeah, it's only a th less than a thousand. Perfect. So, we're already here, luckily. So let's go ahead and get hooked up here and get started, because we only have four hours. It's kind of funny. Uh, one of the things I kind of like about uh, renting stuff is the fact that you're always like, you're on a, a schedule or a schedule, depending on who you talk to, which I think is kind of a, a cool little aspect of uh, of renting stuff. So, I don't know. That's just what I think, though. All right, so let's turn around here. Take a little bit of a turn around the field, or the field, the shop, and we'll go fill up some seeds because I believe we have some seeds that are ready to go. Also, the nice thing about this particular cedar is that it's a no-till, uh, which is really nice, of course, because that allows us to seed extra quickly without having to do any previous cultivation. Now, this we don't have the soil mod in here yet, but once we do, we will have to probably cultivate and plow, uh, and that's due to the fact that the the way the soil mod works. Uh, that's what we'll have to do. Uh, luckily for us, we actually have uh, we have a seed master on this map, which I think is a nifty little thing. I believe David Oldfield worked on this specifically for quite a long time uh, to get it to work the way he wanted to, and it's just right over here in the corner. So let's go ahead and line ourselves up here. There we go. As you can see, it's right there in the back half. And all you need to do is drive your trailer underneath, or drive, drive your cedar underneath of it. Or am I not close enough, probably? Oh, there we go. There we go. So all you need to do is drive your cedar underneath it. And what you do is you put seed in here, and you get seeds out of it. It's kind of like the fertilizer and seed machine, except this one's a lot more straightforward. All you do is put like some of your seeds in it and then just automatically make seeds for you. So it's a little bit more straightforward than the seed and fertilizer machine I'm using on Bantacow, but uh, it's fairly nice. So hopefully we should have more than enough seed uh, to get this done. Is that where the trigger point is? Yeah, it's right there. So remember for that for next time. Just need to be closer to it next time. Um, so that's how that works there. Uh, not too, nothing too crazy, but uh, it does make our lives a lot easier. So first things first, let's go seed the field down the bottom. Uh, do we need straw? Ooh, let me think about this. I think we actually might need straw. Uh, I think you can get straw from the oats. So let's plant oats down the little field we have right down here. Which is kind of funny because the way it works is, um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, they actually want you to uh, bring the fields together, which is kind of cool because that's not necessary. Most uh, maps don't like encourage you to do that in the same sort of way as this one did, uh, which I think is really nifty because here it was like, this is a really good ad good idea if you do that. So that's grass. That's I don't need to spread that. That's alfalfa. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I not plant to... Uh... Huh. That's really strange. Why would it not... Maybe. I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if it's the multi-fruit mod that's not allowing it to... Because 
because this is not what I need right now. And I, oh, that's really odd. I wonder why that's the case, actually. Because you should be able to plant, because uh, let me just uh, clarify what I'm rambling on about. Oops, let's go into the shop. Now, I sus this, is, this really shouldn't be the case, but this is what I think is happening. Uh, because this is a specifically modded cedar, it's accepting these seeds, which is from the seed master, uh, and but it's not it's not allowing me to plant the other crops. So, for example, on this map, you have I don't know why this is happening, but it's a really strange. Uh, where am I? This way. So, on this map, we have. Soybeans, for example. I thought we had oats too, but maybe we don't. Must be my imagination. Um, so yeah, so I should be able to plant soybeans as well. So maybe that's only with a corn planter. Let's check this out. Let's verify this real quick. Uh, so this is a corn planter. Nope. Hmm. Weird. Oh well, so I guess we'll plant... Uh, what's worth more? Oh gosh. Uh, wheat. Or barley. Barley's worth more, it looks like. Yeah. Alright, we'll plant barley. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's uh, unfold. I wonder why. Well, I can't plant. That's gonna, that's gonna bug me now, why I can't do that. Alright, so let's just start from this side and go from there. It's funny, I was watching David Oldfield series on here, and he really, what he loves is, uh, uh, he loves. There we go. Uh, he really loves. Let's uh, lower this and turn it on. And there we go. Uh, what he really loves is the toe behind cedars. Uh, not toe behind, but the ones that are on a three point hitch. So for him, for example, he wouldn't like this cedar because it's not uh, the typical type, like the type he likes. So it made me laugh when I was watching here series. I know why he likes it on this particular map, and that's primarily because of course play. So it was kind of funny when I was looking through that and just saying, "Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's kind of interesting." So uh, that's the reason why. All right, let's raise it up. Make a turn here. One of the nice things about uh, using the GPS mod is that you do give yourself a lot. You can give yourself a lot of space to get things done. Although it looks like it's not properly... Oh, is it? No. There we go. I was going to say, I'm like, it looks like it's a little bit too wide right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, we'll get that around next time. Yeah, that, ever, that happens every now and then. You don't uh, adjust it quite... Just enough, so you have to kind of like fiddle with it a little bit. But most times it's fine. Excellent. Yeah, but this is a... I don't know, I've been playing this map, like I said, for a while now, and I... Uh, I really like it. It's one of the nicer British maps that I've played on thus far. Uh, I haven't seen... Whoa! Would help if I actually... Uh, follow the GPS a little bit. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's one of the nicer maps I've seen so far that includes like lots of different... Lots of interesting aspects of the game. Uh, because not every... Not every map does. Well, that's a bit annoying. Maybe I should decrease the working width by a little bit. What's the working width on this anyways? Is it 6.5? Ah, that's why. Why does it think it's 6.5? That's weird. There we go. Well, that's probably part of the reason why I was having problems. <laughs> All right. It's funny. I always wonder what what's the uh, what's the proper way of going about seeding sometimes because everyone does it a little bit differently. Um, in this scenario, I probably don't necessarily need to do. Uh, to, I don't necessarily need to do headlands, but everyone would probably say, "No, you should do headlands." No, you shouldn't do headlands. So I don't know. Uh, as far as I can tell, people do headlands after the fact normally, so uh, that's what I'm going to attempt to do here, uh, assuming I don't screw up the actual uh, setting on the width of my the implement I'm trying to use. There we go. Let's take a big old turn here. 
one of the things that uh, David Oldfield was working on that I was watching, I was watching his Old Ridge Farm series, and one of the things he was watching or watching was doing uh, was he was adjusting the lockout on uh, the vehicles, on specifically the articulated vehicles, and I thought that was kind of interesting because that's one thing I noticed a lot as well. It seems like the lock when you turn left and right, it, it often seems like it's not quite enough. Um, and it seems like it would be more in real life. So he was uh, tinkering with, I think it was a script, I want to say, that he was tinkering with. And uh, that was allowing him to turn a lot more. Oops. It was allowing him to turn a lot more. So I thought that was kind of interesting that he would, uh, he's working on something like that. Now, this is so much faster than having to do it, having to cultivate first and all that jazz. Technically, I could do it with course play, really. Um, but I don't have many things on the farm going on at the same time because this is a small farm and it's also on hard as opposed to easy. So uh, basically I'm reminding myself how difficult uh, hard is in comparison to easy. So let's just get another strip over here. Because uh, because I've been playing on easy for such a long time, it's just uh, easy or normal depending on the map. It's uh, been kind of interesting to see what the difference is between the two again or to remind myself what the difference is I don't know I really enjoy the uh, the, the challenge that hard presents but what I, what I often find is um, when you're recording it takes so like to get from point A to point B on uh, like in a recording it takes a lot longer so I end up having to play a lot off camera and I just don't have all that time not right now at least I will later in the year but at this exact moment I don't have a lot of time to do that so Maybe once the summer comes around and school's done, I'll do that. We'll see how it goes. It's funny. I released the episode of... I released an, an old episode of Minecraft uh, yesterday, I think it was. And uh, I remember being... I was just kind of curious because I just had it, I had it pre-recorded. So I was like, um, I'm just going to record this. Let's raise it up here. And then lower it back down. There we go. I recorded it a while ago. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to release it. Um, and then I wasn't sure what the response would be. And it was, in comparison to in comparison to the other videos I, re I released, it's a, it was a poor performance. And that's what I expect that, because most of you guys don't like, not, most of you guys aren't into, uh, guys and girls, I should say, really. Most of you aren't into Minecraft in comparison to Farm Sim, so I understand that. But uh, it just reminded me of... One of the reasons why I wasn't, I don't do much Minecraft. I'm like, right, that's why I don't do much Minecraft. I'm like, these aren't Minecraft people per se. Not all. I know, I know some people. Like I was talking to Edward Simpson a while back uh, in the Google Plus community, which I encourage you to join, uh, where we are having the screenshot competition going on right now. So there we go. Anyways, yeah, so Edward Simpson was saying he uh, he plays Minecraft every day when he gets tired of uh, Farm Sim. One sec, coffee break. I have, like, fancy Starbucks coffee. That we ran out of coffee the other day, and my girlfriend was like, like do you want to get coffee or shall I? I'm like, I, I have something to do, so you get coffee or something like that. So what happened was uh, she totally bought, like, a, whatever is it, a half pound from... Uh, Starbucks so now we have like f well somewhat fancy Starbucks coffee uh, which we don't normally get <laughs> it's not bad I've had better um, every now and then we get coffee from my sister-in-law out west and she uh, sends us amazing coffee so if I every time I get like fancy ish coffee I always compare it to that and it's never the same all right let's get this turn here Yeah, this is where having a, a good lock would be nice. Because then you'd be able to do this a lot easier. But, yeah, well, it's the way the game's played, right? So, yeah, so that's what I have uh, some fancy coffee this morning. So, yeah, going back to the Minecraft thing, I, I, like I said, it reminded me of how much, uh, how many of you enjoy Minecraft versus how many of you just don't care about it. Uh, which is fine. Like I, I'm the same way. Depending on who, uh, what, uh, what the person's playing, or depending on uh, what I'm interested in, 
dictates whether I watch it or not all the time. So I can't slight you for that. But it was, uh, if I if I compared, it was a pretty poor performance. And I was like, right, that's why I don't do much Minecraft because everyone does Minecraft, basically. And there are a lot of people who do better Minecraft way better than I do. <laughs> the only thing I might do that a lot of people don't do is the rail rail craft side of things, and I really enjoy that mod. And that's probably the one thing that I probably do that most uh, Minecrafters don't get into a lot. So uh, let's do let's do this headland right here. Probably should have been a bit better about uh, <laughs> getting those headlands, but all right. Let's get this pass right here. Excellent. Yeah. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's enjoying this little series that we're doing on Old Rich Farm. I know some. I know a lot of people have played on it already. So I. Uh, why is this being so choppy? Am I downloading something at the same time? I don't think I am. Maybe it's doing a backup. I had that happen before. It was like, let's do a backup. I'm like, right now? Really? Of all the times? Oh well. Your computer does what it wants to sometimes, so... Alright. Let's come around here. And get this little part right here sometimes it's nice just to be in the cab but uh, what happens is for a lot of people like you know some people like in cab work some people hate it so I try and I try to vary it out but ever since I got the steering wheel a while back I almost always want to play in cab which is you know to the detriment of some people and some people are like oh that's fine let's get in cab there we go all right, now let's do a little bit of a drive around the outside here. There we go. Let's get these little bits. Ooh, bit of a slide there. Now this, it's funny because this cedar needs two, uh, 180 horsepower and this tractor has uh, 200, I think it is. I have to check that now. I believe it has 200. It wouldn't let me use it if it wasn't, yeah. So only a little bit more than it actually requires for this. So perhaps that's why it's a little uh, a little on shaky ground. All right, let's just uh, drive around the outside over here and get these little bits. It's funny, when you compare how efficient you are versus how efficient uh, the computer is, for example, course play or uh, auto tractor will do it as well. It, it makes me laugh because of how inefficient I can be versus the computer but it's because you miss bits and bobs all right there we go let's get this turned around here and let's continue on our way there we go perfect well not exactly perfect but as perfect as I'm going to be able to get it, at least. All right, let's turn around. We're just going to leave it down. Maybe that's the key, just to leave the cedar down all the time. Although, probably not realistic, in the sense that you wouldn't just leave it down and take a turn like that, because it would just tear the tines, probably, <laughs> on your cedar. I would suspect, at least. I'm not an expert by a long shot, but uh, I have a feeling that that's what would happen if you tried to uh, just leave. Yeah, that's sliding around just a little bit. That's what I, I suspect would happen if you tried to do that. So, Anyways, folks, I think what I'll do is I'll finish this off camera uh, so you guys don't have to see me do this uh, repeatedly. Um, so like I said, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. If not, I will catch you guys later. My name's Ian Robson. This has been an episode of Old Ridge Farm. Catch you guys later.